Connor, uh, Senior Master Craft Brewery, is that your title, Connor? Uh, we go with Head Brewer here. Head Brewer, yeah. okay, well that sounds good. And uh, Connor, could you just tell me a little bit about yourself and how long you're at this and how you yeah. get into it? Well, um, I've been brewing professionally now for five years. It all started from just a love of craft beer. When I came to Carlo Brewing Company, yeah. I came in uh, as like a shift brewer, basically. There's only four ingredients that go into our beers. Plain old water, roasted barley, hops, is yeast. The first stage of the brewing process is to mix the malt with water. Okay. And what you're doing there is breaking down starch that's in the malt down into more simple fermentable sugars, which happens naturally from enzymes that are actually already in the malt. The mashing stage typically takes us about three hours to go through. Um, Do you agitate it and grind it? And yeah, it's all, it's all milled up and put into the uh, put so it's into put the in, system, in, a, yeah. in a mushed form is it the, the, the a, a milled form so like almost yeah. like not quite flour but it's a powder okay. or it's yeah. a to ground yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah. next yeah. is separate the grain from the liquid right. um, from the water that has gone in and that's called wort that liquid is then boiled and then it is seasoned with the hops again the hops are going to give the bittering and the aroma and flavor depending on when you add them to the boil and it's boiled for up to an hour and a half depending on the beer and then it will be cooled down, the liquid, the wort, will be cooled down, put into one of our fermenters, and that's when we add the yeast in. It depends on the beer. Some beers will be, a lot of the flavor will come from the malt, so that would be like your stout and your red ales would typically be more malty flavors. And then you've got your pale ales, would be more hoppy. Okay. And then if you want something with more of a yeasty flavor, it's typically your Saison or a German Hefeweizen, which will give like a lot of banana and clove flavors that come from the fermentation from the yeast. Different types of water can make different types of beer better than others. Okay. And before water chemistry was understood, they would have used, I mean, a lot of different regions would have just ended up with different types of beers. But what we can do is add different salts and kind of change the water to suit the profile of the beer that we're making. So even though the water, as it comes in, it's perfect for doing uh, darker beers, if we're doing pale ales, we'll, uh, we'll add them. Uh, uh, well, we, yeah, we'll, we'll soften them a bit. Soften. Yeah. So, the first stage of the bottling is to get the bottles up onto the racks uh, to start moving them through towards the filler. And when it's on the way to the filler, it will first get purged. And what will, that involves is just removing any oxygen at all from the bottles. And immediately afterwards, they get capped. And then the bottles will run down through our pasteurizer, which just involves heating up the beer for a short amount of time and then cooling it back down again. Rapidly. Yes, and it's just to extend the shelf life on the beer. And following the pasteurizer, we'll pass it through to the labeler, and the labels will just get stuck onto the bottle, and then it's just straight into boxes, onto pallets, and out for deliveries. 